20 minutes later on the outskirts of the kingdom. Hmm. You know, I have always thought there was a magic barrier over the kingdom of Kadil that makes it all pastel-like and cute. After all, there's no other logical way to explain how the woods outside the kingdom are so gloomy. Observant, aren't you? That's exactly what he said before. I'm not that observant. I don't know about the specifics, but according to the legend, the first king of Kadil was a powerful magician who had a daughter whom he loved very much. In order to create the perfect environment for his daughter to grow up in, he went and created this kingdom. Which is why Kadil looks like something a five-year-old girl puked up. Of course, since little historical evidence is present, it's all just speculation. After all, although Ivan may be a for may, may, uh, may be formidable in his own right, he's hardly a storm summoning scholar. Though judging by the fact that he used to wash his hands until his skin peeled, he's just as odd as his ancestors. Shouldn't you be noting this down? This is prime information about your Prince Charming right here. There's still plenty of time left before the ball starts. I won't start worrying about it until then. Here, have some cake. Hmm. I had my doubts before. Now I'm fairly certain. Correct me if I am wrong, but you hardly seem head over heels for Ivan. If that's the case, then tell me, Brennan, why do you still want to attend the ball? Mm. It's personal. But I will tell you about it if you'll tell me about Natalie. Hmm. Nosy, aren't you? You just won't give me a break. You should have realized that when I kept visiting you after you called me Rabbit. But enough about undesirable nicknames. Was Natalie your old love? Why do girls always think every angst-filled knight has a lost love? No, Rabbit. Natalie was my little sister. That's where I spent it. Um, she was one of the dozens of girls who disappeared years ago. Pro I don't look nothing like her, though. Even when you're drunk, what the heck? Approximately one year ago, I received a tip from an anonymous source and went to Nortrek to investigate. There I heard of a lady, a shady scholar named Isidore, who seemed to be related to the disappearances. <gasps> oh my gosh. But instead of finding my sister, or Isidore, all I found at Nortrek was an abandoned house. But after digging around the place, I managed to uncover some carcasses. Taking what I'd found to the healer in Nortrek... I discovered that those human remains were from some of the girls who di disappeared ten years ago. And amongst them, I found my sister's hair ornaments. <gasps> I don't understand. Like, did he kill them? I don't... I, I doubt that she'd be saving him. Or maybe I'm really messed up, and like he was killing them to help me. I don't know. You and Natalie are very different in terms of appearance and personality. She was a painfully shy and timid girl, and the only person she could talk to without stuttering was me and the rabbits. <gasps> oh, and he calls me a rabbit. But for some reason, you two have the exact same colored eyes. So I was so shocked when I first saw you. Well, at least I found out the answer to that question I wanted to ask. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all this. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm not usually this talkative. It's getting late. Let's go back. He leaves. Wait for me. Why isn't the sleep medicine working? I placed him in every single one of the cakes. He should be conked out by now. Unless he already knows of my plan to throw him off a cliff. No, that can't be. Judging by Dominicus's temperament, he would have sliced me in half if he knew. I don't want someone who made a goal out of kissing, killing Isidore running around, but there's no way I can kill him by just using brute force and sleep medicine won't work on him. I could try using Isidore's emergency stash of poison recipes, but those are too easy to trace back, and I don't even have all the ingredients on hand. <sighs> what do I do now? Ran when you coming? Sorry, I'll be right there. Sometimes I forget Branwen is like a classy lady, so I gotta class up her voice a little. I only have ten gold, but I hope that's enough to get me through to figure out why the sleep medicine didn't work last time. You know, I've only seen you drunk... Yeah, why would you say that? I've only seen you drunk once. Do you have a high tolerance for substance? Yeah, I'm surprised you figured it out, Rabbit. When I was little, my late father put me through all sorts of poisons and sedatives in order to harden my resistance to them. Thanks to him, I have to drink at least 20 mugs of beer in order to start feeling tipsy. But I suppose it comes in handy for my job. Why are you drinking, then? Stop drinking. Your sister would not want you to be a drunk, lush person. Oh, so he told us about Natalie, 
and we never told him about Ivan for the money. <laughs> okay, I guess that was right. Is that so? And here, have 5,000 gold. That Would that be enough to cover your immediate needs? He just gave me money? What? Oh, I can pack up my stuff and leave with the money. I can afford to take Isidore somewhere else. I'm gonna return the 5,000 gold. We're gonna, we're gonna get committed to the Captain Dominicus. What do you mean you can't accept my money? We're friends, right? Friends do things for each other, Rabbit. No? Doesn't feel right and you have to solve this yourself? <sighs> if you say so, Rabbit. You don't want my money, yet you're gonna marry Ivan in a gold digger sort of move. It doesn't make any sense. It's not none of his business. Look, can you just stop trying to shove your entire fortune into my hands? It's not my entire fortune. I'm richer than I look, Rabbit. Really? Then by all means. <gasps> he cares about me! He said he cares about me, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Instead of marrying Ivan, why don't you marry me? Look at this face. What? Let me repeat it. Instead of marrying Ivan, why don't you marry me? I might not be a ruler of a kingdom or a charmer, but hey, at least we sort of know each other, right? Besides, you've been talking to me a lot more than you talked to Ivan. That must mean something, right? Seriously, the prince will chop you in half. Like, I hope you live. That's all I have to say. It's day 22. It's my lucky day. Let's go. That's not funny. And I never said it was a joke. Look, I know we have known each other for less than a month, but you're basically the only girl who's bothered with me ever since I decided to devote my life to avenging Natalie. Talking to you made me realize that I've been living my life in the past. Maybe it's time for me to move on. And you just want to move on right into my arms, don't you? I might have sounded like I was joking, but I was serious last time. And I also apologize for the way I've treated you in the past. You don't know anything about me. I could be hiding bodies under my mattresses. <laughs> I know enough about you to know that you're an incredibly patient girl who doesn't mind listening to me complain about life. Who will drag me back when I'm drunk. Who will always smile at me no matter how much I frown. Sure, you might not always be honest and you're more secretive than a turtle. But I know that you're a nice girl deep down. And as for those secrets, time will reveal to me what they are anyway. So I guess that's a good point never really bothered to court anybody before. What exactly are you supposed to do? I didn't know you were this blunt. <laughs> I didn't. Honesty is one of my greatest virtues. Think of it as a charm point. Unlike Ivan, at least you don't have to keep guessing what I'm thinking when you're around me. You know, you were gonna kill me in the other ending. I brought something for you today. What is it? Stuff from Osmond's shop. I got every type of cake and recipe. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I like this. How is he so rich? He has given me more than the prince. Let's go going with Ivan. Why don't you go with me? Let me think about it. Oh my gosh. Rabbit, are you okay? You don't look so well. I'm fine, really. I've just been thinking about things lately. And I've finally come to a conclusion. Sorry, Captain Dominicus, but I have to go now. I'll see you again tomorrow. At the inn. Guess what, Isidore? We're gonna leave this place tonight. I know. I'm a wimp. I should have taken advantage of Dominicus' affection for me and killed him. Or at the very least, robbed and disabled him. In the very beginning, I was really planning to. I really was. But guess what? I, I don't think I can do it now. Not after personally knowing him. Somehow I want him to keep living with that simple and straightforward attitude most people so dearly lack. Dominicus is getting too close to me for comfort. Since it's too late to go after Ivan, and I can't kill Dominicus, it's best for us to just leave before we're found out. I'm sorry for messing this all up, Isidore. I could have done a lot better, couldn't I? He doesn't say anything. I don't want to leave. I want Dominicus. Kind of. <laughs> it might be my imagination, but the woods of this outskirt seem darker than usual. Well, considering that I don't want anybody to see us, the darker the better. Now I just have to. Where are you going, Branwen? Captain Dominicus, what a surprise! I thought you were at the ball. Stop avoiding the question. Where are you going, Branwen? A friend that I know is dying. A few hours ago, he sent me a message asking me to visit him. Sorry for not saying goodbye personally. I hope you don't mind. Of course he minds. He just proposed to me. Is that so? 
And do you mind showing me the contents of your luggage? Huh? Why do you want to- Stop acting, Bran, when you know damn well why I want to see your luggage. Oh. Look at his face. I'm crazy faced. I'm gonna open it myself. Now do as I say, or... Oh! <gasps> what? Brother? What? 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 Every single time, Amarillo just blows my mind. I'm like, what is going on? Don't kill him. <gasps> Did you just kill him? A few months later in the middle of nowhere. What? 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 I'm taking care of all those pesky people, Natalie. They're rather persistent, aren't they? I wonder why. I don't know. Just go and find some food and medicine. Don't come back until you have them. You're so cold, Natalie. You didn't used to be like this. At least give your big brother a hug. What? What? Uh, so now I have an illusion on me that makes it look like I'm his sister? I suppose you, could, you couldn't always be that little girl who told me everything that was on her mind. I'll always be there for you. After swinging a rock over Dominicus's head, I thought that I had killed him and decided to bury him in a shallow grave. But as I was dragging his body into the hole, he suddenly woke up and addressed me as Natalie. After some minor interrogation, I found out that he is suffering from heavy amnesia, and the only thing he remembers is the false information that I am his sister. Since Isidore is a high-profile criminal, and Dominicus is a high-profile government official, I couldn't bring both along with me in the long run. So I tried to ditch Dominicus in the nearest inn as possible, but for some reason he always manages to find me no matter where I go. The process repeated over and over again until I simply gave up trying to get him off my trail. To make matters worse, Isidore is still showing no signs of recovery, and I myself I have been identified as a criminal by the Cadil Kingdom. Ironically, as more and more bounty hunters came after me and Isidore, Dominicus is the one who has been protecting us from harm. So if Isidore and I were to survive our next assassination, I cannot afford to do away with Dominicus. Oh my gosh, I am left with no choice but to keep playing pretend and hoping it will last. <gasps> he got me dead rabbits! Dude! Dude! What will happen when he regains his mem memories? Dominicus is ending? This is how it ends? And you don't even get a kiss. Unlocks Isidore. What the hady ho, neighbor? Oh my gosh, that is so sad. No kisses, nothing. Amarillo. Really? All right. Well, thank you guys for playing with me. I might add in what happens if we run away in this one. I might put it in the next one. It's a surprise. Let's find out. Okay, so we finally got the money from Captain Dominicus again. And let's leave. Let's find out what happens. Unfortunately, two are both killed by a passing carriage. Fate is cruel to cruel people. Next time, return the money. Thank you. I am glad that I took that extra time to figure out what was going on. But, uh, just thought I'd uh, show that to you guys. So thanks for bearing with me again. I look forward to seeing who your favorite is and whatnot and exciting little things like that. So I'll talk to you soon. All right? Thank you. Have a great one. Bye.